I'm kicking them out. My little flock has been evicted. You can hear them scratching around. They're in the box ready to go to their new home. Here we go. Day. The babies are going to the Cluckers Cottage. We're headed to their new home. Still got a little work to do. Got to put some topsoil in the beds I made this morning. And got some painting to do. But, they're coming home. Let's see if they fly out on their own for a second. Have to have help from mama. Mama's gonna have to get the babies out. They're like, oh my goodness, what is this place? They're moving around. They're checking things out. I'm waiting to see if they find the dust bath. A little curiosity going on, but they're afraid yet. And I think they're figuring out what life's about. Eating. I throw them a little scratch out. I, and mealworms. I put the mealworms over closer to their food and some crumble on the floor, so maybe they'll find that quicker. And tried to show them their water. They don't quite understand that concept. So I'll go back in and get their small water to have out here too, just until they get the hang of it. Don't want my babies to get dehydrated. This is gonna be hot, hot next week. My little chicken nuggets are loving it. They are happy, happy now that they're not so scared. They are checking it out. I think this splash looking Moran is beautiful. Look at those feathered feet. <laughs> and it's a pretty one. It's a pretty bird. Are we all pretty birds? Uh, for the most part. <laughs> I left them alone for a second, came out of the pen, came back to see what they were doing. They're still pecking under the chair. First night to roost in the roosting room, and they're fussing. Oh, now they're gonna get quiet. And Cash is curious, but he's facing to go with me, so he'll leave them alone. Which they're safe in that room. Sun is up, birds are singing. Let's go get the chickens in the cottage. Let's open their roost. All right. Let's see how the babies are. Good morning. Hi. Everybody's awake. And everybody's okay. Well, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-oh. Where's number eight? We're missing one. Oh, there it is. Stuck. I'm probably dead. Oh. Oh, no. He's injured. She's injured. Uh oh. So he's alive and it smells like urine really bad. So I'm gonna isolate him, take him back in the house, and uh, let's see if we can't help him. He's shivering and shocky. So the other seven babies are doing well. I've got number eight in isolation in the house under a heat lamp. I've examined it, it's got a couple little scrapes. So I've got my Vetrosin, I've got some electrolytes and probiotics, a little grit to put in its feed, and I'm going back in the house to play nurse to a chicken. All right, this is our injured baby. So far, all I've seen is a tiny little scratch right there on its foot. I've got some Vetrosin Plus I'm gonna spray on that real easy. There we go. Um, and then I noticed here is real reddish irritated. It's dirty, it's pooped and peed on itself. I washed some of it off, but uh, I'm gonna spray that as well, just because it looks kind of red and irritated there. Poor baby. So and we're gonna keep her or him in isolation. I'll saturate that really good. Um, oh, got that leg moving then. That was cold. So I'm gonna get it back under the heat lamp and let it just rest. It is definitely kind of shocked because this one normally doesn't let me hold it this lightly, this long. It's usually really flighty and trying to get away. And then I'm gonna go change clothes because you see what I've got. Poop to doop. I've mixed her up some probiotic and electrolyte cocktail and I'm gonna put that in its water. It's slightly warm. I'm gonna set it under the heat lamp as well also. So if it'll drink, it'll be getting warmed up as well. But it's cuddled up under the heat lamp for now. It's probiotics and electrolyte solution is chuggling down into the dish. Got its food with some grit there. And hopefully it'll feel better in a little while and feel like doing something. At least it's chirping and making noises. It wasn't doing that earlier. I know it doesn't like being alone. Bless its little heart. So it's having a little trouble walking on its right leg. I've brought it back into the house and put it in here by itself. And we'll just keep an eye on it today and uh, see if we can't get it recovered. But you see it is struggling. Okay, so last night the little chicken was much better. And after dark, I snuck her in here and put her with her friends so she would do okay. She wasn't really um, having any issues other than she wasn't flying much. So let's see how the babies are today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all okay. Awesome. The patient there is doing well. Here he comes. He's around the back of the sandbox. He's walking around just fine today. He just needed a little TLC, or she, I think it's a he though. A little TLC and some time alone to recuperate from the trauma. But totally acting normal now. Normal chickens. Finally figuring out the feeder. I had to put a few mealworms in there <laughs> to get their attention. 
So, since Irma's moved outside, she's gotten too big for her breeches, and she doesn't let me love on her as much. She's enjoying her freedom. <laughs> a chicken will be a chicken. Yesterday, I thought this little whitish colored gray one was a rooster for a minute, and it may be. Um, it pecks at me. They're watching Cash, and Cash is watching them. You now, if they'd been out in the open, he would have already got them. He likes to hunt the birds, but they're protected. And uh, two more weeks, and they won't be a target for him because he opened up a can of whoop worm on him. Irma. Hey, baby. Hey, darling. I'm going to get it with mama. Huh? No. Just going to look, huh? Okay. Let's see how it is.